Hey kids, it's Halloween time again, which means it's time for Dr. Demon Dan's spooky Halloween sounds. This time we're going to use some different equipment and I've got some new ideas and we're going to specifically talk about making sounds for soundtracks or for records or the front porch of your house. So we're going to start out with the Uno Synth Pro desktop synth by IK Multimedia. Now you look down, it's got a small keyboard and you think, I can't play the uh, Takata and Fugue in D minor on this. No, you can't, but here's a trick you can do. This thing will do three notes at a time. Just play any three notes and slowly move each one chromatically, a half step, in any direction and just only move one at a time and it'll just work. Then once you get that, we're gonna add delay and reverb for the ultimate spooky soundtrack. <laughs> Turn up delay. And now we turn up reverb. Dark, murky sounds are scarier than bright sounds. I think it's because it leaves stuff up to your imagination. But if you have a sound that's too bright but that's good, just turn your filter down a little bit and remember to just slather it in delay and reverb. The next is a delay, and in particular an analog delay. Why? Because you can bend an analog delay so much more smoothly than most digitals. There's a few that'll do it, but if you really just want the ultimate bendability, you gotta go with an analog delay. Today I've got the MXR carbon copy analog delay. I have a regular dynamic microphone that doesn't need power. I'm going straight to a cable that goes to quarter inch right into the carbon copy delay. And if you need it louder, you can use a preamp or a mixer or something, or if you have a condenser mic, but I'm just doing it like this and I'll shout real loud. But uh, here it is with some delay. <laughs> Remember, you can do that with instruments, your voice, anything. Just having a delay to bend things around is always spooky. And then there's one that's near and dear to my heart, and that is the fixed filter bank. What is it? It's a bunch of filters in a bank. Um, each one is at a different frequency. And the way I like to use it is I like to just take white noise. And so to do that, I'm using the Behringer 923. It has a couple of filters, but most importantly, it has a white and a pink noise out. Here's white noise. Here's pink noise. And I'm gonna show you on the synth here that you can sweep that with a filter for wind and waves and thunder and lightning. But on here, I like to use this fixed filter bank to do planetary sounds. Now I'm gonna take that white noise and put it directly into the fixed filter bank. Then I'm gonna come out of the filter bank and go into this attenuator. It's a 995 from Behringer. It's just three volume knobs. So here we go, I'm gonna start bringing up frequencies and don't bring them all up, just a couple, that's spookier.
The next one is a theremin, which are just always scary and weird and spooky. But this one is especially good for Halloween. This is the Theremini by Moog because it not only has a theremin built in, but it also has effects built in and particularly a really good ping pong echo. And you know me with ping pong echoes. So all you have to do is move your hand near that rod or have your trick or treaters try it. They'll love it. There's lots of sounds in the Theramini. But my favorite is using my special wind patch that I made, and it uses a hidden noise feature in the Theramini. And we're gonna give away the preset, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer and he'll get it out to you. But you send these special SysX files to your Theramini and you'll be able to do this. So now we're gonna use noise in a different situation. We're gonna use it on the ASM Hydrosynth. And so I've gone and initiated a program and I go over to the mixer and I turn down all my oscillators except noise. And one of the great things on the Hydrosynth is you get a bunch of different types of noise. So I can do white noise, pink noise, brown noise, and red noise. Blue noise, violet noise, and gray noise. I'm going to start with white noise. And then if I take a low pass filter and sweep it, I can get all types of wind and rumbles and waves. You turn up the resonance the more it starts sounding like wind and strangely the more you turn up the resonance even after that the colder it feels now we'll put a little reverb on there to give it some atmosphere Again, playing with the resonance makes a big difference. If you take the white noise, put it through your low pass filter, and then slowly roll the low pass filter down to it's just a rumble, then set your amp envelope so that you've got a fast attack, a seven or eight second decay going mostly to zero, but not quite, and then maybe a six second release, and you can get nice thunder. Another thing is set your key track into 100% and you get different thunder across the keyboard. Now add reverb to taste. Now 
Now add a little envelope to filter. And then on any synthesizer you have, just remember that dark and murky is usually more scary than bright and happy. So lots of clusters, lots of notes half step apart from each other. Keep the filter dark, only open it up every once in a while. So here's a patch, kind of scary. But now watch as I roll the filter close and how much scarier you can make it. Well, that's all the time we have for this year, kids. But remember, be proud, be spooky. And if you have any further questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.